Welcome to the Atta Second Science Group at DESI in Hamburg. We are part of the Center for Free Electron Laser Science and we develop advanced light sources to uh, study the dynamics of matter. What does this mean? Well, we are movie makers. Our cameras are sophisticated light and particle detectors. The objects we are studying are the building blocks of matter, from molecules to atoms and even electrons. And the light we use to illuminate those objects are ultra-fast laser sources, providing extremely short light pulses with durations from the few femtoseconds down to the up to second domain. Well, one up to second is a billionth of a billionth of a second. Our light sources cover a wide range of colors, from the infrared to the ultraviolet, and then even down in wavelength to the soft X-ray uh, region. With this extreme time resolution, we aim at steering the properties of matter at the electron time scale, with potential applications in many fields, including chemistry, biology, and material science. So enjoy the tour. An important part of our research activities aims at investigating ultrafast electron dynamics in neutral molecules of biological interest. To achieve this, we produce the shortest ultraviolet laser pulses using a novel glass cell technology. These UV pulses can be combined with atosagon XUV pulses or with few femtosagon infrared pulses. Such a unique pump probe setups allows us to steer the electron cloud in the molecules in order to control the outcome of photochemical reaction. For instance, we recently developed a scheme which prevents the photo-induced dissociation in a DNA building block. The soft X-ray beam line is intended to generate isolated up to second pulses in the water window spectral region. These pulses are combined with ultraviolet or infrared pulses in a pump probe transient absorption scheme. The aim of this beamline is to study uh, electron dynamics in biorelevant molecules in their physiological environment, which is the liquid phase. To this purpose, the pulses are, are focused on an ultra-thin liquid jet. The experiments we are running with this beamline are complementary and synergetic to studies performed at synchrotrons or free electron laser since we can uh, unravel with extreme temporal resolution the first instance of molecular dynamics. With this beamline, we also plan to study condensed phase targets with a particular emphasis on the investigation of charge transfer in advanced materials. In our high repetition rate laboratory, we aim at driving experiments with up to second time resolution on molecules and materials with deterbium based fiber lasers. This emerging laser technology enables to use repetition rates up to the megahertz regime, which are key to studying low density targets or solid samples. However, they come at the cost of pulse duration, which are commonly in the order of a few hundred femtoseconds. Therefore, to overcome this limitation, we develop advanced post-compression schemes, which are also suitable for high average powers. In particular, we developed a single-stage gas-based multipass cell, which compresses initial 150 femtosecond pulses down to 15 femtoseconds, while operating at 200 kHz and 50 watt average power. These compressed pulses are then used to efficiently generate UV radiation through soliton-driven upconversion in capillaries. The PhotoElement project aims at investigating the electron dynamics that are triggered during nuclear reactions and play a major role in phenomena like uh, the production of medical isotopes or the trend of the solar activity. We develop novel schemes of time-resolved pump probe laser spectroscopy with the goal of photo-initiating this special family of electron dynamics. But great science calls for great people. We are a, an international team of junior and senior researchers with interdisciplinary competences in the field of physics, chemistry, informatics, and even engineering. And this scientific melting pot is our way to go for attacking the grand challenges of our research and always to develop new ideas for the science of tomorrow.